Hello guys, you may got familiar with the OLAM mark. TLDR is the inference engine for LLM, help you to run deploy in LAMA 3.3 other available model, and you can deploy it in locally. And when I come through the issues here, some people uh, discuss about the API generate and API chat, and I want to make it clear more about the difference between them and what does prompt to the LLM look like between them. So some people here is answered very well here. So the generate is like put a single message and you get a response. Uh, otherwise, the for the chat, you put a single message and the previous chat history and you will get a response. So that's more really clear on that. And we go through the how all of our construct the prompt. That was really uh, important for us because as you may know that the Olama would use the template structure and that template here uh, they would use Go language to render it so that basically we had the layout the overall structure but the variable and the function for that so for example we have the basic structure layout here and we have some variables like message drones content and some of the function like the range here or the if the else and why the template is important because the template we affect a lot of the performance because that if you use the uh, different format in the in the template, you will get the, the performance degradation. And um, uh, this recommend that you should use the template that is the what is the the template that the model is joining for. So let's have a look at some of the template on the sound of model. For example, the lemma three here, uh, three point one here. So we have. This template we have a system uh, variable and the tools here and it cutting the start and the end for each of the runes and it cutting it can using the tools here for tool cones. Let's have a look in the deep seek one. The deep seek here is really simple. So we have a system, the message here. So TLDR is means that when you don't use this template you will having the worst performance on the model specific model so that's why uh, we need to understand the underhood between these two endpoints how do they construct the how construct the, the the prompt based on the template okay so let's go to the uh go through into these two endpoints let's have a look at the parameter so we have the generate here. It will receive the model, the prompt, and other parameters. And you can see the response here. It got in the model, created time, and the response. The response is just the normal, the, the text, okay? And for the chat endpoint, so we have the model input, the message, the list of the message chat here, and we can put the tunes here. And for the response, it will respond with the role and the contents here first. So it's quite different here. So I have an example here to see how all of our construct the prompt into the LM model. For example, I calling this a chat API, putting the model Lama 3.1 latest here, the message using the system roles here, and the content your tour guy have answer about the city and I ask it to with the user role, what do you know about Hanoi? And I will print it. The second one is that I will construct that into just a single prompt for the generate endpoint. I put a system here, the user here. So let's run through it for the first one with the chat and to see how it works. I will run the Olamart serve with the debug mode here so that we can understand the chat prompt. I will run in the chat first to see it. Right, you can see here we have we're calling the chat request and we have the prompt here is the start header ID with a system run and then if we put the system run here and end the, the, the end token and the start header ID for a user and then the last one is the start header ID and end header ID for a system. Alright, you can see that. This is the response format. You are getting the role content and it can answer very well about the Hanoi 
the capital city of Vietnam. Let's try again with the generate. So here we will call the generate request. You will get the start header ID with the user and then it will put in your prompt to that. And the last one is the system. It's quite different with the with the chat request. The chat request we put the system into the system header here. But for the generate request, if we put the system, I mean the prompt you put in here into the user. So it could may get the effect about the performance of the uh, the model. So you can see it quite generating not very very well at the structure and also uh, the context is not very well with the with the chat one. Because that you can see that you put the system in the in the into the user, not in the not in the system. So what I recommend here is that if you have multiple rooms like the system, like the assistant, user or tools, you should choose the API chat so that it can like generate uh, with the prompt uh, with the correct prompt using the template uh, better than you generate the, uh, uh, the the prompt yourself with the different structure format here when you concatenate uh, a lot of uh, rules here it will affect the model performance yeah that's it see you again